Brendan's always been around. Uh, I can remember when I retired and I was asked what I'd miss the most. I said, Brendan, seeing him every day. It made such a difference to a lot of people. More people than you'll ever know. He was a special, special man. He did box, he box typically straight. I met Brendan from 14 years old. Uh, he didn't let me box till I was 17. I was that bad. Uh, this guy showed me patience, understanding, um, and he showed me friendship. And and I, I don't. I'm going to say it, but it sounds like I'm disrespecting my own uh, uh, father. But he was like a true father figure. I used to get jealous of his kids when they went home. I thought. He's your dad. You drive up Newman Road when we boxed, when we all boxed, and you get big units like Richard Towers or Pelly Reed, Harold Graham, Naz, Ryan Rose, myself, and you'd see us picking the weeds out, the road sweeping the roads, and you could see people driving up thinking, how's he getting them up to do this? How's he getting them? He's not paying them, how's he doing it? And Brendan had talked to you in a way where he'd say, if you take care of your own doorstep, if everybody took care of their own doorstep, that's the beginning. We know him from the boxing side, that's 20% of his life. You know, you, you look, you, the, the, the champions that you know are, are a drop in the ocean in regards to the people that he's helped. Me and Brendan would be walking and someone one would walk up to him with their kids and say, Brendan, do you remember me? 20 years ago, you changed my life. Uh, I always dreaded the day when he couldn't remember me because I used to dream of thinking, God, that'd be horrible. Because uh, I couldn't remember a lot of the guys. So we take, we go into town, just walking about town. We talk about the good old days. And he said, just keep telling me these stories. Uh, and then, like Monday, he said, I've had a good life. Three cheers for Johnny Nelson. Hey! 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 I don't want people to forget him. Um, um, just don't forget.